This is the second video for exploring the critical reading worksheet in the What Do You Think argument unit. We'll be looking at the model example again, so make sure that you check it out here. On the model example, we'll be focusing on which evidence you include when you're discussing the article. You'll see a blank sheet that will say identify the evidence provided in this article and will contain a number of subheadings. Those subheadings are testimony, personal stories, statistics, researched facts, definition, and authority. In this video, I will explain what each of those types of evidence is. And as I do, you may wish to read the article that I have explored, Afghan Women Worry Their New Freedoms May Disappear. If you read this article, then you'll understand much more clearly what I'm talking about. So feel free to pause the video right now and read Afghan Women Worry Their New Freedoms May Disappear. Once you get back into it, I'll explore the evidence. I have completed all sections of the evidence subheading. 6. Testimony, personal story, statistics, research facts, definition, and authority. Let's talk about the first one, testimony. Testimony refers to quotations from people involved in the event, but not outside experts. So, news reporters often take interviews with people involved in the events on which they report. In this article, two women have given testimony, and the testimony is found in quotations. Kazalan Kufi and Shukriya Matin. Both of them are Afghan women. I identify them as such. When you look through the New Zealand article, you'll see different quotations from these women. Here's Kufi's quotation, we are entering a very dangerous period for women. I don't need to copy and paste the quotation. All I need to do is say, she gives testimony. And this woman gives testimony as well. Personal stories is a little bit different. Personal stories refer to the news reporter giving a story about somebody, telling what happens with them. In this article, I see that it starts with Shengol Cha talking about her at age 11 and being married off. It also talks about Ghazalan Kufi. So these paragraphs before the first subheading relate their stories. I list them, and I list exactly what's talking about in the article. Shagol Shah's biography contrasted with that of her daughter, Ghazalan Kufi. That is one personal story, the contrast between these two women. The other personal story is Shukriya Matin, a woman that returned to Afghan recent, Afghanistan recently. I don't need to go into more detail than that. All I need to do is indicate to my reader that these women's personal stories have been told in the article. Statistics should be fairly simple. Statistics refers to any numerical evidence presented in the article. As I scroll through the article, I see that numbers are given. And those numbers have to do with percentage increases or decreases of women in the workforce, number of female judges here in Afghanistan, number of girls that attend school in Afghanistan, and the percentage that that represents. In my critical reading worksheet, I summarize that. Rates of violent crimes against women, number of female judges, percentage of women in the government workforce, number of girls attending school. Like I said, statistics should be an easy subcategory because all you need to do is look for numerical evidence. Researched facts recur to, refer to any facts that the reporter must have researched. Those could be widely known or perhaps only known to the reporter. But those facts are facts of history and current events that the reporter has researched. The reporter gives background on the Taliban, so I list that. And the reporter, reporter also gives stories of violence against women, outside the women figured in the personal stories. So again, I list that as well. Moving on to definition, definition refers to any terms that are specifically defined by the reporter. My article has none, but a reporter may have to define a specific term or a concept to a reader if it is challenging or new. List any of those definitions here. Finally, authority. 
authority should be pretty easy to spot as well. Authority refers to quotations and other statements made by people that are not involved in the event, but have some sort of authoritative viewpoint on the events discussed in the article. So here, Heather Barr, who is a senior researcher for Human Rights Watch, gives a quotation that the reporter cites. Heather Barr is not directly involved in the events. She is not an Afghan woman. She is not an Afghan citizen of any sort. She is an expert in the field of human rights, and her quotation is listed under authority, not testimony. Fazia Kufi, a member of parliament, is also listed as an authority, because that person is not figured into the specific events related in the article. Rather, from outside, that person is commenting on what's going on. As you read through an article, think about all of the evidence that is given. I recommend reading through the article once, and then scrolling through it again and picking out anything that you can think of as evidence, and summarizing it into the various six categories. Try to account for all the evidence given in the article. If you've accounted for all the evidence given in the article in these six subcategories, then you have completely understood what the reporter is reporting, what information the reporter has provided to support his or her story. Once you've completed that, you have a very critical understanding of the news article.